Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to this video. Uh, you're looking good. Did you get a haircut? Maybe it's a, is that a sweater? New sweater? I, I don't know what it is, but you're looking good. Uh, in this one, we're talking about empty masks. And if you don't know what masks are, I will link my full video down below to learn everything you need to know about masks. And if you don't know anything about anything, I will link my uh, full course down below. It's free of course, 128 minutes of action packed nonstop superhero affinity photo goodness to learn everything you need to know uh, to get up and running uh, in a pro manner. Now, masks. If you know anything about masks, you know that you can create a mask, you can conceal or reveal by hiding things or revealing things by painting in black and white with your paintbrush. So let's do an example. I got this really cool wolf here. And what I'm gonna do is click on the wolf over here. I'm gonna go down to my mask button. Now, if I'm on a PC, I'm gonna right click on this. And if I'm on a Mac, I'm gonna option click, option click, there we go. And I'm gonna hit empty mask. And when I do that, you're gonna see the picture disappear. Now the picture's gone, but if you look in the layers panel now, we now have this mask and it's black. And we have this black box next to it. That means we've hidden the picture. So what we can do is grab our paintbrush and painting in white, we can start painting it back in. But the cool thing about this is we can pick whatever brush we want to get whatever look we want. So let's go over to our panel over here, our tools, and I'm gonna grab this paintbrush. You can hit B on your keyboard. I'm gonna go over to my brushes and I have a whole bunch of different brushes. Uh, I'm gonna select, um, what am I gonna select? I'm gonna select something fancy. Uh, let's do scratch brushes by Retro Supply. And I'm just gonna pick a random brush. Let's do this one. And now that I am painting in white, you can see in the top right corner, I can start painting this back in the scratch form because that's the brush I'm using. So I'm just gonna start painting here. And this is also, keep in mind, this is a brush. So in the top left corner where your opacity and your flow are, are gonna matter how your uh, brush looks when it starts painting back on. You'll also notice in the layers panel on the right hand side on the mask, as I'm painting this, you can see in white what I'm revealing. So I'm just gonna paint around here really quick. I wanna focus more on the wolf and get some of the background, but not super, super detailed. So I'm just gonna get kind of scratchy around there, but I'm really focused on the wolf. So you can see how I'm painting this wolf back in, but it has this sort of a scratch look to it because that's the particular brush I'm using. If I was using a different brush, it would look a little bit different. So that is painting back in an empty mask using this particular brush. Let's do another example. Let's flip over to good old New York City. And it looks like it's, uh, I don't know, is it morning or is it sunset? I don't know. And what we're gonna do is the same thing. First, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try something on the fly here. I'm gonna duplicate this picture. Now, uh, I have the city selected in my layers panel and on a Mac, I'm gonna hit Command J to duplicate it. On a PC, you're gonna hit Control J. And now I have two copies, but the one on the top, I'm just gonna turn off for now. And what I'm gonna do now with this one that's on, selected down to my mask button, again, on a PC, right click, on a Mac option, click, select empty mask. It's gonna disappear. I'm gonna select my mask. I'm gonna go over to my tools and grab my uh, paintbrush. You can hit B on your keyboard. And I'm gonna go back to my brushes panel and this time I'm gonna pick a different brush. I'm gonna pick these cloud brushes and Affinity has a ton of brushes installed. I have a bunch that I've acquired over the years, but Affinity has a bunch of great ones already installed. I'm gonna pick this cloud brush and again, uh, painting in white with my layer selected, my mask. I'm gonna start painting in this, uh, this cloud brush image and it kind of looks like this, which looks pretty cool in my opinion. And I'm pretty cool, so it's gotta be cool, right? Is that how that works? Um, so now we have this, right? Which looks pretty awesome. So it's not just a regular photo. It looks kind of airbrushed in or painted in just because I'm using this particular brush. Now I'm gonna try something uh, with this other picture. I'm gonna turn this other picture on. I'm gonna drag it down to the bottom. So it's on its own layer here at the bottom. And um, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna flip it around like this. I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna make this picture really big because I wanna use the sky. I make it really big like this and use this sky. So now if I zoom in, I have both the sky from, um, well, the sky as well, inverted. And you can see when I do it, the clouds down here look blue and this looks blue over here. If I turn this off, that's what it looks like. So, you know, whatever you're into, whatever looks better. Um, that is empty masks. Again, you can take a picture, apply an empty mask, paint back in on the mask using white to uh, reveal it. And you can see again over here, all the stuff I painted in. 
is showing in white because I've revealed it and everything else in black is what is still hidden. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, uh, you, you know what those YouTubers say, uh, tap, tap, tap that like button. And if you've never seen my stuff before, um, it's your, you could subscribe because it's your lucky day and you could get to the front of our VIP line because it, that's, <clears throat> it's real and it exists and um, it sounds right. So um, why don't you subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one.